So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your sixth responsive web design tutorial in which I'm gonna do a little bit of announcements to the responsive web design we have created right now and as you can see right now I have just changed the location of this bar to the menu and I have just simply hacked it a little instead of after now I'm using before and left is minus 20 pixels and I have just text indented it 40 pixels to the right so that looks good. So I tested my site on this responsinator.com which is simply just iPhone and all that stuff with an iframe so it's essentially just fooling you into a, um, creating a different size of iframe every time and if your website is like if it's blocks iframe this won't even work with that so anyhow it still is useful to check in some common layouts and you can see that it kind of doesn't look very appealing right now in a lot of scenes so that is sort of helpful you can see right now these icons are will overflow if viewed in a landscape view right so we'll also take a look how you can add some specific styles to a particular orientation right there's also a way for that to detect orientation in css right so right now as i can see font is a problem on 736 and we just have a breakpoint on 720 so yeah that's gonna be a close call right and uh, this this little guy is a lot of out of aligned so we're just gonna see what makes it out of aligned so if you take a look on a normal it's hard to say if it is out of align out of alignment rather we should say but as we decrease the size yeah it looks a bit out of alignment so let's just do something about it so we can actually position bottom is uh, 50 pixels that looks good let's just not do this um let's just say transform translate x minus 50 percent and that is a more calculative way of transforming that and we can we don't even need to mess around with the media queries for this right and this would be centered now probably okay so looks good now there's a problem for 320 pixel devices this is sort of looking bad so let's see if we can do something about this 320 320 right 320 now it looks okay for me because I'm not messing around with my height and I guess I have something in place to detect some JavaScript to detect browser height and accordingly just position background till the height I believe I have done that earlier I don't really remember um, not here I don't know but there's some sort of JavaScript going on in the back end for this um, script learn uh, yeah, I don't remember but I had coded something to maybe or maybe not yeah I guess I'm just going clean with CSS only right that's okay anyhow Anyway, so yeah, what if I get this logo right here to shrink a little bit more and uh, probably we should get rid of this menu text at all. That kind of just creates problem position absolute top zero um, right zero can we do that uh, where is it right 10 pixels something like that um, yeah I guess that is a more cleaner approach than what we are doing right now yeah so we should do something like that only so what we can do is uh, 
Um, what am I even doing here? Menu toggler and yeah, okay. So let's just shrink it down to or let's just keep it to 200 only but make it a float left right so on 720 720 pixel i'm gonna say this is dot logo mobile but our menu toggler is gonna float right and we are clearing the floats yep and I'm gonna just say um, this is top 20 yeah that's completely random just get rid of all these and there we are okay so we again have a little bit of problem here um uh, i guess we should pretty much clear not here but rather or yeah obviously what am i doing here clear both yep so There we go, and it looks much better. Get rid of that menu as well from the HTML files. And this is index menu. There we go. And uh, where is it? Um, uh, menu toggler right 10 pixels and uh, left minus 20 just remove that all right so what did we just do Right uh, 10 pixels right 10 pixels there we go so where the heck did I add oh this should not be there yep and uh, looks much better now yeah okay so Okay, so we have this inflated button somehow. So let's just fix this one again. If this gets inflated around, uh, what it is, 320, right? Standard size for an iPhone. Cool. So we can just bring down the font size a little bit. Not a very harsh job to do. Font size, um, 20 pixels. I think we should be making use of rims but uh, um, I think we can bring down the padding instead one pixel I think there's enough of space for the text as well so what's blocking the text this guy right there got you bro uh, let's just break it down there we go that was the culprit fair enough and uh, looks good looks awesome right 
Okay, so this looks bad. Again, this view looks okay. This looks bad. We'll just come back to that later. The orientation, the landscape orientation is kind of messed up. This also looks good. Yeah, there's some sort of problem with landscape orientation. Um, yeah, landscape. Yeah, this is also fine. Landscape is messed up. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, so we have to essentially pretty much design our website finally one last time for the landscape view. So we're going to do that in the next tutorial. So that's all for this one. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.